Hi everyone, this is Melon B or Melon Bruise uh, from Melon Shop and Facebook. And I'm actually making another cast off crew video, <laughs> even though it's so soon after my last one. But I really wanted to um, get back to doing the weekly thing because otherwise, knowing myself, I probably will not have one up for you know a few weeks, <laughs> maybe a month or two. Um, I actually did complete a few things since my last one which is amazing although I do have to say that some of the things are kind of like cheating because um, well I'll, I'll come to that and then I'll tell you about it I'll show you my first one and this probably you will remember from my last video um, if you guys have seen um, my knitted yeah my knitted wrist warmers that were a huge fail because one the first one turned out all right the second one was huge compared um, I did unravel and I have made something else with a yarn I had two skeins of that yarn and I have used all two skeins I have maybe like the tiniest ball left of it but uh, this is what I made I don't know if you guys can tell it will be um, well this is crochet it will be a bowl and this um, this yarn was or is half um, I don't know if it's half but it's um, a mix of wool and what was it and soy and from what I looked up um, I've never worked with soy before but from what I looked up uh, it's supposed to be able to felt pretty nice especially when mixed uh, with wool so that's what I plan on doing with this it's a pretty large bowl again I used both skeins and I do plan to felt it, which I assume it will become a little smaller, um, which is why I didn't really worry about the holes, like the one, the one in the middle there. Um, and I did it pretty loosely with a big hook, again, because by felting, I assume it will become a little smaller. Anyway, I will show it to you again once I do felt it. I'm not sure when it will be. I'm actually just waiting to do some laundry so I can just, you know, put it in there. And I did have uh, some miscellaneous yarn that I got from a swap, which is in this blue color. And it didn't come with a label, so I have no idea what kind of yarn this is. But it kind of, to me, and, and I'm not really an expert, I've worked with, with wool uh, like only a few times. Even though I have some, I just haven't really worked with it yet. Anyway, I made a small bowl with it, for the, or with the whole ball. Or amount of yarn I had for this again also um, I plan to felt it and I have, I very much hope that it's some kind of wool or some kind of fiber that will felt otherwise if it stays like this again it has like the holes and again I did make it with a pretty large hook um, doing it pretty loosely with the idea that it will felt and you know become more compact I can use it for miscellaneous stuff on my dresser or something. But anyway, I made those two bowls, and again, I will show it. I will show them again when I do felt it. I also made a little pig. It's actually one of my cutest ones. I made it peach colored. Uh, this is like a fuzzy type of yarn, and this is, I think, um, some kind of cotton I think it's a it's cotton if not a cotton blend um, and again it's not like the, the same color obviously but within the range I think it turned out pretty cute and this is a free pattern uh, I found on Ravelry but the pattern is actually a lime brand pattern which I get it's free um, yeah and I've made one before um, that I made to look like one of the characters from the Animal Crossing game series but I just wanted to try something different and I actually just really wanted to use this this fuzzy yarn and I just didn't know what else to do with it so anyway it turned out pretty cute um, I just embroidered the nose with some some uh, random color I had like a miscellaneous piece of yarn I had and the eyes I did with, um, with fabric paint uh, with this one in general just fabric paint you know I put two little dots and let it dry and there you go it's actually one of my favorites I don't know why I don't do animals like in odd colors more often although I guess it's not that odd for an, 
a pig I don't know now this one is probably my favorite and it's actually connected to a kind of sad story but I made my first knitted amigurumi sorry my hair is like all over the place and it's like one of the cutest ones I've made to date and I'm actually very proud I actually finished it and made it can you guys tell what it is sorry it looks all wonky but it's supposed to be a little chick uh, not chick a little chicken like a tiny chicken <laughs> and I actually took my time with it because it has all the increases and decreases and that kind of thing and anyway isn't it cute I thought it was a so cute but at the same time uh, comparing this to um, crochet amigurumis maybe it's because of course I have more experience with the crochet ones I found this one to be very cute but at the same time uh, very unperfect I don't know how how to say it I don't know what the word would be it is not perfect and you can tell or she or maybe just me that I used too big of a needle for the yarn I don't know but you can really tell you know that increases decreases all the holes in there you know that they make I'm sure you guys can see it I guess and uh, the, for me that just gave me like a very unperfect or imperfect look which is all right I mean it's still pretty cute and everything but I don't really know if I prefer that look I mean uh, I don't know if you guys you know understand what I'm saying it's not like it's bad or anything but I don't know if I would actually prefer that look and actually let me show you the book I made it from I know I showed you the book when I bought it uh, let me just grab it all right so the book I made it from that I know I showed you guys before is this one the mochi mochi or however you say that where it's just a book of knitted amigurumis and I haven't made any before this uh, this will be my first one so I'm very proud of it and again I think it's so cute um, I will be trying to make all of them and I did not follow uh, their instructions as far as gauge or what you know what uh, weight of yarn to use or the needle size I just used you know like some random yarn a scrap piece of yarn since supposedly it uses such little amount I just used you know um, I guess a needle size to, to my guess <laughs> a needle size that is way smaller than needed for this yarn but I don't know if I did a good job because again you can see all the little holes and stuff so maybe next time I will try a smaller hook and in that note, I actually did start making another one of those and it was kind of sad because for some reason, I have no idea, I ended up breaking my knitting needle. Um, the only ones I have right now um, uh, that are circular needles, because I made this via circular needle. Um, it tells you to do it in the book, either that or do it on double pointed and needles or whatever but I don't have any of those so I made it I made it via the circular ones and I ended up with this this is a tip of one of my knitting needles which the one the only ones I have again that are circular are bam bamboo needles and that was kind of sad so uh, I don't know I have to go get a new a new one now this size I'm sorry I just bumped into a microphone but anyway, that was my sad story for today, that I, I lost, you know, uh, an awesome set of <laughs> knitting needles. I have to purchase another, I guess. And now this is, well, these are the things I kind of said I was talking about that I, you know, I mentioned maybe I cheated on because I've actually made these, I made probably like at least a year ago. Um, again, with the idea of selling it on my shop but I just never got around to actually putting them together. But I, I did complete them uh, maybe in the last couple of days. And I was also kind of, I guess, uh, what do you call it? Trying to see how to make them 
faster and easier again if I plan to sell stuff um, in the convention that I hope I get into I'll show up on one of those well anyway these are owls this is one and I'm sorry the eyes look all, all weird but you should be able to you know make them look the same <laughs> I'm sure you guys know what I mean that's one that's two and the last one I made or finished up was this one and again these owls are actually some of these are already in my shop um, malamb at etsy.com and the only difference that I did with these that I thought was kind of cheating was um, if you want to go browse my other ones in my shop I actually sewed the eyes on um, or embroidered the eyes on as well as the wings while well, with these three again I was just trying to do it faster um, I glued them on with fabric glue and I think I kind of like the sewn ones better because they stay put again they don't move around like that and I think of course you can glue like the whole eye not just the middle which I did I just put some glue in the middle and then, then put them on but anyway um, I think I'm gonna go back to them and then embroider all around just cuz I like that look better so I made those three um, actually I had to cut this video short because I did include um, my more recently dyed dyed yarn um, I did some cotton last weekend I was showing you that but it made the video almost 20 minutes long I think it was 19 minutes with some seconds there so I decided to make it into a different video I also did have um, a yarn haul I was hoping maybe to to tape for you guys so I don't know if I'm gonna include that in if it's not too long I probably will but if you guys do want to check out my new yarn um, the ones I dyed <laughs> and the new yarn uh, via the haul uh, please do go check out my next video as far as the cast off crew video goes um, that is all that I completed uh, since my last one I hope to make some more stuff uh, for next time and I probably will try to make more things like this little pig because again it is the probably one of the cutest ones I've made so far I have not finished anything regarding um, I know I showed you guys a lot of the um, like the you know the little tutorials or the other mushrooms and stuff I did put the mushrooms together but I did not complete them I didn't put the dots on I didn't make the faces I didn't put the keychains or the, the magnets on but hopefully for next week I will I'll show you guys that um, since that's all for now I hope you guys uh, enjoy the video <laughs> I hope you guys view my next one uh, with all the yarn stuff uh, do check out the rest of the castle crew and I uh, will see you guys next week bye mm -hmm.